So it is time. We are in uh, Trentino, uh, nelle Dolomiti del Brenta, and it is time for me to do my first multi pitch. I know it has been a long time, but uh, uh, since it's my very first time, I ask the help of a guide. Here is uh, Ale Weber. Where exactly are we now? So here we are in the center of the Brenta Dolomites uh, and this wall we are going to climb today that is Castelletto Inferiore is a very very classic wall with many roots uh, it's going to be a um, sportive multi pitch route it's um, quite a short one just five pitches but okay. pretty nice uh, and the name is uh, the elves of the forest not okay. very epic name uh, okay for the first one I think is a uh and the next one could be like the dragons uh, yeah, of the like okay <laughs> 7 a is the, is the hardest the okay hardest. i think there i can do it okay i i, also I, I hope i can do it, it. <laughs> can do it. <laughs> yeah obviously this kind of difficulty is uh, <laughs> much much lower than uh, those one you can climb but uh, in the wild environment first time in the mountains uh, first time on this new type of rock uh, it makes sense to have a gradual uh, approach. Actually, I have to correct myself. I have one multi pitch experience. Last year, I competed in a competition on a dam, uh, on uh, like a multi pitch, but it was like on a, with artificial holes. Okay. So I know more or less how to do it. But I think here everything will be a bit different. It will be my very real first multi pitch in uh, like on the, rock. on the rock. I think we we need to have like more carefulness about the environment and uh, about like the uh, everything we do on the rock because it's like yeah. not uh, not a control uh, environment but we are in mountains yeah, that, that is really true because uh, it's not uh, only about the the climb itself it's about the the wild environment where we are going to climb and here we need to be self-responsible self-responsibility is Mm, like a key concept because uh, we need to be ready to plan each details to check the weather forecast to bring the proper equipment uh, there isn't anybody else that is taking care of us that is just uh, uh, ourselves <laughs> okay this video is not gonna be a tutorial for multi pitches uh, Ale yesterday already gave me some instruction for uh, the basic things uh, so i will be not well but prepared for this and then on the wall for sure it will teach me other things i think i'm ready i also think so the first things to do is uh, to put the helmet on yeah it, it is a bit unbalanced for me with the gopro but <laughs> not only for you. i hope it will be fine we need the uh, climbing shoes we have the rope uh, it's okay uh, if we take your backpack with us. Yes, okay. So I have the harness, but it's the same as on uh, single pitches. It's okay. This kind of uh, sportive multi pitch route, uh, the gear is the same, but uh, we need some extra screw gate carabiners and belaying device. You told me to bring like comfortable shoes, so I brought this, but I think they're not the most comfortable ones. These are like the the same pair I was using for uh, trying Burden of Dreams. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think it will be, uh, probably the hardest thing will be like to not suffer too much. Is it okay for you if I lead the first pitch? Okay, yeah, yeah. there's five pitches, so you will lead the, the first, the third and the fifth. Okay. I'll lead the second and the fourth, I think so, yeah. We're almost ready. We need just to play La Mora before. La Mora, yeah, I just explained briefly what you like told me yesterday. So this is like a, a Trentino game, very, very local. The rules are we go with a number with our fingers and at the same time we have to say a number that we, you have to be like the sum of the two hands. But we don't know like before. You need to bet the right number. Exactly. And we will play at each belay and okay. at the end whoever gets more points we will win. So let me know guys, comment down below uh, who do you think will win La Mora at the end of this multi pitch? 8, 5, 4, 5, mio. Ha vinto. Okay, okay. The try was mine. Yeah. Let's see there with the altitude and everything will be different. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. It's not a play for 
Dowlings. How hard is the first pitch? It's extremely hard. Extremely hard. It's, it's like, like 4C, 5A, something like that. <laughs> first pitch is, should be quite easy. It's like five something, even four. I don't, we, we check the guide, but we say, okay, it's easy. We just go. The, only, the only problem is the first bolt is uh, quite high. So I let Alessandro go first. Okay, that was the first bolt. Quite high. So this is just the second bolt. Oh uh, yeah. That's uh, our life of alpinist. Stefano, of yeah. Belay. Okay. Okay, Stefano, whenever you like, you can start to climb. Okay. Take it slow and relax. You have the whole day to get to the top, so I think it would be better to climb slowly and like save some energy. Who is that? Come on, I can't believe <laughs> he's Stefano Gizolfi. <laughs> Straight from Norway. Is that okay? So far, so good. Easy. Bravissimo. I'll rest just one minute. Uh, I already teach you yesterday how to belay from above. Yeah. Uh, I suppose it's okay. I think so, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter about the climbing. The yeah. real challenge is about La Mora. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Okay. Quattro, sei, cinque, sette, otto, mio. Otto, pari. Sei, mia. Bravo! Ah, come ah. on! Ok, one point for me! Ah. <laughs> Bravissimo! Second hardest speech. Yeah. 6C plus. We are lucky that the route is well bolted. <laughs> yeah, very well. Even, even better than, <laughs> than the cracks. Yeah. Uh, there's a job here. Yeah. <laughs> After that. <laughs> oh. My first lead on a multi pitch. Oh, this is good. Ah. To be hmm. your first time ever, it seems you have a lot of talent. <laughs> I mean, I already climb in my life. Okay, so sta. Bravissimo. What about your feet? Uh, I think it's the like the worst thing uh, right now is the the pain on the foot on the feet. Posso tirare la corda? Sì, sì. Oh, I remember this is the like it was the most challenging thing on the dam last year, the rope management. I remember we me and Marcello had a like very small problem with the rope like in the middle of the route. It was not very funny. How was your first lead? Oh, it was great. 
I mean easy, not, not that hard. The next one should be harder, but uh, Ale will lead it and I will go top rope. But uh, it should be the hardest one, 7A, I think. So far, so good. I'm having fun and yeah, uh, I like it. I think I will do more multi pitches, but it's just my second pitch now. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know, we'll tell you again at the end of everything. Whenever you want, I'm ready. Not very elegant, but efficient. <clears throat> That sequence was interesting, Boulder. As you probably already realized, uh, often the hardest pitches uh, are the most well bolted. Yeah. But you need to be really careful on the easy ones uh, because uh, often there are not so many balls, not so many protection, and this is why uh, I, sometimes I am carrying some extra cams uh, or I try always to pay a lot of attention on the easy mm -hmm. easy stuff easy pitches it makes sense to go for a short route so we are not stressed about uh, the, the weather that can change about the time if we uh, can do everything slower we double check then it, it works uh, never be in a hurry yeah, uh, yeah sure in the mountains if you can. Are you ready for the second round? Yes, I'm ready. I'm no. winning, so... <laughs> Sette, cinque, nove, mio. Ah, 2-0. I'm winning. mezzo tallonaggio Amazing Stefano of Billet. Ok, vado.
Bravo, Ste. Bravo. Okay. This was hard. That section, it's a little bit bumpy, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I agree. Oh. Per vincere la moto, questo è un buon bel buco da. Solo per vincere la moto. Esatto, così non posso tirare dei numeri. Posto. Being honest, I'm getting worried. Because, uh, yeah, if, I'm, if I lose this uh, round, uh, I'm done. Sì. 7, 5, 8, 7, 9, 7, 8, mia. 3, 5, 6, mia. These fingers are magic, not only for I should, climbing. I should take part in the Mora World Championship yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Ah. Bravissimo, Stefano. <laughs> Ho imparato. It's, it's, it's. Stefano! Ok, oh. sosta! Sono meno sciolto di quel che... 5, 8, 7, hai vinto tu, bravo! La roccia è molto bella, eh? Coppa del mondo! Stefano, sosta! Eh, grazie, figo. We are at the top! It's not that bad actually. That speech was easy, but uh, we need to be careful. And I don't know, it felt like maybe the hardest one was the second one, probably. Yeah, for sure the... Sequence was yeah. Harder than the yeah, the third was supposed to be the longer and harder, but yeah, maybe maybe the second, maybe the maybe second it's could be. But it's 60 plus. It's always the plus that is, I think, is dangerous. Yeah. Uh, so this is your theory. Yes, my theory is that 60 is the hardest grade ever. Ha. Yeah, because like often the bolter of like a crag of a route yeah. is like strong. So if you gave like easier than 6C, so 6B or 6C, the route is actually easy. If it's 6C, it means that, okay, it's easy, but it's hard at the same time. If it's like 6C+, plus, it's the hardest thing ever. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my theory. And it works, so I never climb 6C. For like, 60. for warm-up, I start from 7A, is better. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, it's not over yet, eh? Yeah. I need to stay focused and ready for the descent. We look for the um, for the normal route when we upside down, and we we keep the rope and we keep ourselves tied uh, this way with the short rope because it's a little bit uh, a little bit uh, exposed. Okay. It's easy, but ex you never know. Easy. Even in your first rappel, uh, it did work. Yeah, it was not that bad, I think. Corda!
invece il massaggio è comodo perché puoi farlo anche mentre io sto scendendo anche ah, okay. in tensione Grazie, amazing. I'm tired right now. Actually, I didn't think that I would be so tired after just five pitches. But uh, like everything, the pay attention to everything and the approach and then the, the upside down was, was, everything was a bit tiring, but it, was, it, it has been super cool and fun. <laughs> it was yeah. for you. You got the, the point in my opinion, because you need uh, to pay attention to many details for a lot of time so you get mentally tired even just for that to be focused as you should be it's something that i never consider like multi pitch or uh, like hard multi pitches but uh yeah right now i'm focusing on like super hard single pitches like silence or even boulders actually yeah. <laughs> and yeah i think in the future maybe in few years probably i i could try some harder routes i think i need more experience still before trying something like at my limit in this environment sure. uh, and then maybe in few years I will be ready I mean in like in Trentino there are a lot even without going too far from my home so I think yeah we can meet somewhere it's nice because you live in Arco and only in the Sarka Valley there are uh, um, three years ago they counted uh, more than 1100 multi pitch routes oh, considering wow. only the multi pitch with more than three pitches oh wow so that's enough for a lifetime yeah. okay enough for a lifetime and and the dolomites uh, if we talk about the dolomites uh, there are like even more yeah more than 10000 so really one life is not enough <laughs> then in the dolomites we have uh, a lot of different walls and different type of rock because we uh, um, often we find dolomia uh, but there is also a lot of good uh, limestone and so different type of roots uh, and different steepness uh, and it's really it's never the same so I even each massive like today for example we are in the in dolomiti di brenta in the brenta dolomites but each massive is a bit different so it's really worth to to travel around the, the dolomites and to visit each massive because uh, the style the type of climbing is slightly different okay i know that you also have a um, youtube channel uh, called uh, ale beber where you're uh, bringing uh, a new new content about uh, dolomiti uh, you have a i heard that you have a good project called uh, dolomitica <laughs> thanks, thanks. It's because I try to put uh, my passion about climbing and about history together. So we, we usually go with, with the pioneers, with some old alpinists who established uh, the routes many, many years ago. Sometimes we go with them to climb together again their routes. Uh, or sometimes, sometimes we just uh, make interview and then we go uh, we go to climb their routes uh, and this is nice because you you can appreciate uh, uh, even how was climbing in the past times if some people watching this video want to come here uh, to have more information about this place and the routes how can they do mm, there are information uh, on the web uh, um, there are uh, um, many guidebook but it makes sense uh, to get contact with the local mountain guides in each valley of the Dolomites there are, there is a mountain guide office and they and my colleague are uh, always happy to share information and to help the the people who need uh, to um, this kind of uh, this kind of information because it's really important to know uh, the right route uh, to start uh, so you can always look for the 
local mountain guide office. Thanks a lot. One more time, Stefano. Thank it was you. A, it was a big honor for me to climb uh, climb with you. It's what it and was for me too. <laughs> and uh, thanks. I'm happy if you enjoyed the experience. Yeah, I think I will come back here to climb some different routes, maybe. And uh, yeah, guys, if you like the place and 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 the video, give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to Ale channel. <laughs> and uh, see you around here in, in the Dolomites in Trentino. Bye guys. Bye. See you the next time. <laughs>